the technological progress in health has probably been the single most important factor uh, responsible for population health improvement around the world, much more than general improvements in living standards. The question is why those technologies then aren't distributed more effectively in a large scale, and the flip side of the coin is then why they're not conditional on being available, taken and used by people that could really benefit from them. There are a whole host of things that really require a large multidisciplinary effort. A good example of working with people in different disciplines and working with different stakeholders in real time, people who are actually responsible for implementing, delivering health services, health technologies, is a project that I'm working on right now in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It's a state of about 80 million people in the south. Uh, micronutrient deficiency rates in Tamil, Na Tamil Nadu are extremely high. We're working with the uh, government of Tamil Nadu to see if it's possible to introduce fortification into what's called the public distribution system, which distributes rice at no cost to all residents of Tamil Nadu. There are at least three ministries that have key responsibility over this area. Uh, the Ministry of Health, of course, uh, Ministry of Planning, uh, Ministry of Food and Civil Supplies. We then have to work with an NGO partner who has developed the technology, the fortification technology of this ultra rice. And then we have to go out and we have to collect our own data. We have to evaluate how this intervention works. Stanford makes it very easy to do interdisciplinary research. There are political scientists, there are other senior faculty in the medical school involved in work focused at the intersection of political science and public health that are very concerned about those issues. I don't think that would be possible without the kind of infrastructure that we have at Stanford, in this case, in that, that instance at the Freeman Spogli Institute. You can lower the costs of working on things that involve creative or collaborative team structures that maybe are harder at other institutions. You can also uh, develop, you can encourage exchange in a way that might generate new ideas. And I think the payoff is huge, but it's not an easy thing to do.